G'day and welcome to Bikes and Bits 1000. Today this is a follow-up video in regard to the lighting kit for the GV Top Box. So as mentioned, I'm going to do a follow-up video today just on the, my GV uh, Top Box and the lighting kit. Um, in particular, um, I sometimes have issues with the actual light coming on, so the lights uh, when I put on the brake pedal. Um, the reason being is when I put sort of stuff in here, if I've got too much stuff, it actually puts pressure on the uh, box and separates this connection to this connection. So today what we're going to do is I'm actually going to um, just hardwire that connection in, um, which hopefully will solve the issues. Anyway, let's uh, get on with that. So firstly, you've got to take this part off, which I've done, and then just remove the actual housing. Now you might notice in this one, this wire looks a bit thicker than maybe the one you've got. I've ended up um, actually replacing this wire a few weeks ago because I um, had some real issues with these tiny little screws and uh, some of the riding I do, um, bumpy roads, and the wires actually snapped off. So um, I think they just use such a thin gauge wire. So I upgraded that. Um, hoping that might fix the issue, but a um, bit of a different issue now as far as having that um, connection just get loose uh, with pressure being put on it. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just take these uh, wires off and we'll do that to start with. So you actually need quite a small screwdriver. This is like a, um, a modelling kit type thing. So we'll just undo these. Right, so the wires are loose now. So now we've got to take the uh, top one off um, to uh, expose those wires. Um, that just unclips the same way. So we'll take that off, take that off and expose that. Same idea, you can sit now see the exposed screws. So we're just going to take them out. Take that off. So rather than overcomplicating things too much, I'm going to do a joiner wire from here using some crimps. Put another white piece of wire up here and run it along here and some more crimp connectors to up there so it's just putting that joiner and um, this being a thicker wire here i can use the use the yellow type ones um, but this wire up here still being the original it's quite thin so i'll probably use the um, the red red ones which uh, obviously take the slightly thinner wire Okay, see I've put some uh, joiners here, then the cable's coming up here. And I've just used some um, these little things to hold in. Stick, they stick down and then just hold the cable neat. And up here. And then this one's, I'm just going to put this one up. Join them and we should be right to go. So I'll just tidy that up now. Okay, so that's all done now. As you can see, all tucked up there. Um, the reason I've used the actual joiners um, is just in case I need to make any changes. It's easier just to um, unclip them uh, for whatever reason. Um, I could probably do a continuous wire, but um, this will work for now. All right, let's just put it on the bike. All right, so these are working now, as you can see. Previously in the past, if I lifted this up, this would actually turn off. So now it's all working. All right, thanks for joining me on this uh, fixing up the uh, lighting kit. A uh, bit of a shout out to a mate uh, Tim in Queensland. Mate, he's uh, doing quite a project himself, working on some um, arcade machines, putting them together. Um, as always, if you like this sort of content, uh, like, subscribe if you haven't. Um, slowly approaching 200 subscribers. Uh, look, it's not it's not big, but uh, appreciate the support, and uh, uh, you know the the more the better. All right, have a good New Year's.
Cheese.